What is up, YouTube? Stick that voice, Spider Grandpa, coming back at you with a Funko Pop haul. It's been a while since I've actually done one of these. Uh, me and my wife, uh, we had a day off together yesterday, and um, we decided to go see Ready Player One. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. And uh, right next to the movie theater is uh, FYE and a um, oh shit, uh, Barnes and Noble. So. Uh, I went in there, bought some Funko Pops that I needed for my collection. Um, I'm getting ready to show you those right now. I was going to do it last night, but I was I was exhausted for whatever reason. Um, as some of you may know, I had a job fair on Wednesday, New Comic Book Day. Uh, that was a bit of a letdown. There were not as many vendors as promised. Um, I did drop resumes handing those out, like Tic Tacs, I was, you know, uh, gave about 30 to 40 resumes to people, um, talked to a bunch of guys and, and gals, uh, just really waiting for phone calls right now, I, uh, excuse me, I did not um, get with the, the people that I'm eyeballing, um, they actually have their own job fair coming on the 25th, which I will go to. Uh, but enough about that. You're here to see the Funko Pops I got. Um, Ready Player One, really good movie. Really, uh, really, uh, really fun. Um, uh, didn't think there would be. I knew there was going to be a lot of CGI, but not as much as there was. Um, but really awesome. Uh, really good. Uh, a lot of um, what do you call it? Uh, Pop culture references, a lot of pop culture. You, you won't be able to uh, see them all. Um, just big shout out to Chucky. That's all I'm going to say. All right, let me show you the Funko Pops I got. I got eight Funko Pops, which brings the grand total of my collection to 733. So um, first one I got, uh, my first Care Bear. Um, this is my favorite Care Bear. Um, yes, I like the fucking Care Bears. Go fuck yourself. Um, no, but for real, uh, Grumpy Bear, or Care Bears are pretty fucking cool. Um, Grumpy Bear is my favorite. Um, years and years ago when the first Care Bears first came out, um, my mom actually bought me one, and it wasn't the, the stuffed animal ones. It was, I think, it, I remember it being about this big, and it was hard plastic, and it was Grumpy Bear. So, I found Grumpy Bear, so, and of course, these are all your Care Bears. I want Good Luck Bear, only because I'm Irish and he's got the shamrock. Um, next, I got Gollum from Lord of the Rings. There, and there he is right there, and this is the set. Um, this is the only one I have out of this collection. I did see Treebeard there, and I almost I should have grabbed him. Um, I'm kind of regretting not grabbing Treebeard, but it is what it is. Next, I got, I don't know what you call this, I guess the prison suit Daryl Dixon from Walking Dead. Uh, FYE exclusive. And there are, there is this series right there, edition 9, I guess. Um, I do have all five of those. Next, I got Ebony Maw from a movie that's not yet released, but coming very soon. This guy's part of Thanos' Black Order. Uh, can't wait to see this movie, guys. Uh, Thanos, these guys. Um, and this is the huge, huge set. Um, there's even more than what's on the back here, of course. Um... Thanos and his Black Order were really the only ones I was worried about getting, and all I need is uh, Corvius Glaive. So I'm not sure if he's even released yet. Uh, he might be. I'm not too sure on that, but that's the only one I really want. And um, there's an Iron Spider with uh, Peter's arms, mechanical arms out, kind of like Doc Ock. But I, I think I'm going to try to grab that one. Uh, from Contest of Champions, I picked up Guillotine. So, I don't know if she's a character just for the game, or if she's actually in the Marvel Universe, but uh, I 
kind of like her. Um, the only ones I really want, I have Howard the Duck. Um, I want, of course, I want Venom Pool and Punisher 2099. That's the only ones I'm worried about for that set. Uh, here's another part of the Black Order, uh, Proxima Midnight. So there's what she looks like. I've already shown you that set. Um, found this one at Barnes and Noble. It's the Gollum exclusive, uh, where he's invisible. He's actually got the ring on. I don't know if he. Oh, he doesn't have the ring on in the pot, but that that's what that's supposed to represent. So. There you go. And last but not least, I, I thought this one was vaulted. Um, I could be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, I saw this one in a two-pack a while back. That rhymes. Um, but I can't believe I found it in the wild. Uh, haven't seen it in a while. Uh, that's uh, Gizmo from the Gremlins. So... Yeah, I, like I said, I've seen it in a two-pack along with the actual Gremlin, but really happy to have that. Uh, love the Gremlins, especially the first one. That is it, guys. Eight Funko Pops. Grand total was up to 733. Uh, got work in a couple hours. Uh, still, a part, still going through the liquidation of my store. Uh, then, of course, we got Blaster to stash it tonight. i got to read some comic books before I go to work, so I am prepared for tonight's show. Uh, so I will see you then. Come check us out. Blaster to stash it. Me, myself, uh, Paul, Midwest Comic Man, Drew, Drew Manchu, and Dave over at Huey's Comics. So y'all be kind to one another.